Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jay Nowak. And now, for today's episode, really, there are quite a few things that I got here to talk about, but of course, the notepad. Which has been, in fact, keeping track of a lot of the many, many things that I do here on HJN. It basically says, on nine, number 547, that today's topic is, in fact, going to be centered on gases. Yep. Gases. A particular state of matter, and also, basically, the one thing that is very different from oxygen. While gases are in fact different than oxygen, mostly because of whatever type of elemental containment that they may have, there are in fact a lot of different types of gases that we've gotten throughout history. There of course are the noble gases, including argon, krypton, and helium. But then of course there come some of the ones out there that we happen to get from different types of retailers out there. Of course there are these giant helium tanks which will in fact allow you to either fill up balloons or other objects that can then be suspended into the air or sucked down your throat for your own personal enjoyment. I mean, even I'm practically guilty of having helium go down here. To change my voice something like this. Ha. Huh. But other than that, I mean, gases are still incredibly dangerous. They may seem like fun in some ways, but of course if you aren't very careful with gases based on the handling of them, or by distribution, or by how they're sealed in their original containers, then of course they can be proven to be deadly. And of course we know about the famous cases of Agent Orange, mustard gas, chlorine gas, and many, many more that have been used throughout biological warfare. Of course, gases themselves are indeed incredibly dangerous. There even was the case of the lab accident in which sodium azide had exploded, and someone was unfortunate enough to experience the extremely dangerous effects of sodium azide gas, which of course has also been reenacted in 1000 Ways to Die, one of my favorite television shows of all time. So, of course that's another way you could probably look at gases, but in general, gases, well in my case, they aren't necessarily as deadly as they would normally be, but of course, they still are in fact extremely dangerous, no matter what. Even if you feel like you're immune to a certain toxin, then well, definitely shouldn't find out whether or not you are or you aren't. So that's pretty much what gases are as a whole, and that's pretty much just my own little PSA out there to people who might be thinking about shoving a bunch of helium down <laughs> or doing something else related to gases. You never really know what could happen these days. Well, that's pretty much it here on HJN, and if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.